मी चिकन साठी माझा अठरा पूर्ण झालंय त्यामुळं मी इथं आलो राहिला मला बाहेर कोण नाही आलं त्यामुळं चिकन माझा सपोर्ट करते मला फ्युचरमध्ये ना पुढं होऊन डान्सर बनायचं आहे मी तसंच जाऊन सिंहाच्या पोरांना डान्स शिकवण आणि मोठा डान्सर बनायचा प्रयत्न करा आणि सिंहाचं नाव कमवून India is home to the third largest number of people living with HIV in the world. There is evidence that nearly 100,000 of an estimated 2.3 million people living with HIV are children. UNICEF estimates there could be about 4 million affected children in India, including those living with HIV or those that have been orphaned by AIDS and children whose parents are living with HIV. The highest cause of child HIV is through mother-to-child transmission or contracted by sexual contact, blood transfusion, unsterile syringes and intravenous drug use. Always on the front line in the battle against AIDS has been Snahalia. In the late 80s they were the first to remove corpses from the streets of people who had died from AIDS-related illnesses and would lie untouched through fear of contamination, they would be given respectful cremations. Snahalia would build makeshift huts to offer peace and dignity to the dying. Back then, as it is now, there was a huge stigma surrounding people who were HIV positive or had an AIDS-related illness, many in the medical profession refusing to treat them. Snahalia opened the first hospital in India that dealt exclusively for these people who had been turned away by others, offering free treatment and care through their illness. Since 1989, Snahalia has been rehabilitating women and children from the red light areas to great success. Many are equipped with skills to take their place back in society. But Snahalia noticed a significant issue emerge over the last 12 years for its 18 plus born HIV positives. With the introduction of the antiretroviral therapy in 2004 at district level, life expectancy increased by 75%. The youth were living longer. But many of Snahalia's 18 plus born HIV positives were orphaned. The government rules that childcare institutions can no longer keep a beneficiary in its care once they have turned 18, for this is when they are legally termed to be a major. This creates unimaginable problems for HIV-born beneficiaries. They have lost touch with their relatives and have no home support system except for Snahalia. This has always been a great frustration for Snahalia to have to let them go into the world unprotected, vulnerable and unable to fend for themselves. They will find many challenging obstacles that it's hard to prepare them for. They face the stigma of what is now being called India's new generation of untouchables. They will find that society is unwilling to accept them and will be discriminated against when trying to find employment, a house and equal human treatment. Without safety and security, it doesn't take long for them to fall into India's hidden population. Some will spend a long and dangerous life on the road until their eventual demise. Males all too often become easy prey to opportunists who will abuse and use them for antisocial activities such as drug peddling and forced prostitution. For females, the outlook is equally horrific. They are often trafficked, used in the flesh trade and exploited by ruthless people until the victim's untimely death of an AIDS-related illness. Recognising this harrowing, reoccurring issue, Snahalia felt the need to create an initiative for teenagers who are 18 plus and born HIV positive. Hence the need for the GKN Rehabilitation Centre. This unique initiative is for the youth who are 18 plus and born HIV positive. 
It is a transitory home with its main aim of socialising its beneficiaries, giving them a set goal and offering them livelihood skills that will empower them and make use of their full potential. This is being done through a wide range of activities, including reading, spiritual and mental development skills in a lively environment. For the 18 plus born HIV positive, this is not just a home, but in the same way that Snahalia operates, it is also a family. But why is it called GKN? Many corporate companies were approached when trying to find funding for the project. GKN, Sinter Metals, the world's leading supplier of metal powder precision components, came to Snahalia's rescue. With a history dating back to the 1930s, this remarkable company, which is well known the world over for its philanthropic activities, gave its assurance of financial support. Since the placing of the first stone, this has opened up the opportunity to house 50 adolescents of 18 plus who are HIV positive. Not just Nahalia beneficiaries, but teenagers from all around the state. GKN is situated in Izalik village, opposite Himetgram, which is playing a major role in the running and development of this new rehabilitation centre. The beneficiaries have access to all the agricultural, vocational training and employment opportunities that is being utilised at Himetgram. Training is delivered by a mentor who ensures appropriate training programme is given to each individual beneficiary. At present, some of the GKM residents are studying at college or have been placed on valuable work experience programmes so that they can achieve a substantial income that will ensure a better quality of life for them. In the first phase of its construction, the rooms that have been built have been named after past volunteers who have fought a brave and courageous battle with HIV. This they did with self-esteem and positive thinking. It is these valiant individuals who have inspired other HIV-positive people to live with dignity and self-respect. Um, Without GKN's intervention, where would they go? What would they do? And how would they survive? This unique and vital initiative is filling a gap by providing home, family, opportunities and more importantly hope for their futures that is being denied to millions who were born HIV positive. It is GKN's aim that as kids born HIV positive look to their futures, not in fear, but with a sense of hope and optimism as they take their rightful place back into society.